really has the best romance book subscription out there? We're about to find out. Stay tuned. Hi friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sigrid and I make videos about books because I love them. Today I'm going to be doing my battle of the romance book subscription box while I unbox several romance book subscription boxes so that you guys can see which one would be the best fit for you. So we're going to get started with the trifecta. Uh, these are Bell Book Box Mystic and the Arcane Society. These are all sister companies but they are uh, separated based on the genre of the books inside. So the first one is Bell Book Box. This is the contemporary romance. Oh, these are stunning. Okay, so the first one I am seeing is Second Chance Contract by M. Robinson. And the second one is Make Me Hate You by Candy Steiner. Okay, so here are the books outside of wrapping. This is how the edges look. Okay, so the first one, Make Me Hate You. I'm going to read the back. Every sip of air is shallow and burning because in the arms of my best friend's brother, I'm the closest I've ever been to sin. His eyes flick to my lips and I remember the first time I tasted him, seven years ago before I left this town and vowed never to return. His hands gripped my waist and I remember the pain when he rejected me, when my entire world crashed down at his commands. His jaw clenches and my senses come alive with one stinging reminder. I'm not his to kiss and he's not mine. I tried to stay away from Tyler Wagner, putting an entire country between us, but when his sister's wedding brings us back to the same town, to the same house, I can't avoid him, no matter how hard I try. He's always there, his dark eyes bewitching, luring me into their depths. The memory of us pulls me under like a rip current, and when he flashes that smile, I lose my breath, along with my will, unable to escape his grip and find the surface. Now, hours before our plus one arrives for the wedding, I'm in his arms begging him to make me hate him, knowing he never could. If he kisses me right now, I'll drown, and I'll take him down with me. So this is Best Friend's Brother. And of course, it is signed by the author. Oh, I'm so excited. This is, this is going to be cool. I, I am intrigued. Okay, and then we have Second Chance Romance. I don't know if you guys saw the edges. I feel like the light is really making it harder to see, but it's like orange. There we go. Okay. I came from nothing and made something of myself. I've only ever loved two things, cars and her. I took that passion and built an empire. That was the problem with being one of the richest men in the world. Everyone thinks they know me, but they only know what I want them to. I'm demanding, arrogant. My company thinks they can change me, soften my image, make me more appealing to the public. Little do they know, the woman they hired was my best friend's little sister, and the last time I saw her, I broke her heart. Is this the same man from the other story? Cause like, <laughs> so apparently, best friend, uh, best friend's sister, best friend's brother. That's gonna be a good time. I'm actually really interested in both books this time, and I feel like Bill. Is the one that I'm least excited to get out of the trifecta but I think they did a good job this month and the second one is super big and I think it's because I got an extra book in this one um, so the arcane society is a paranormal I think supernatural one um, and they normally if they do series they will give you the option to add on the rest of the series and I always do that because I don't like to own part of a series especially when it's a special edition Okay, so I am seeing some written goodies. So we have a letter from the author here. And then we have three art prints. So this is the first one. This is the second one. And this is the third one. And then we have three pins. So this is the first one. And they have the book names on them, by the way. This is the second one. And this is the third one. I have the first one here, which is wrapped by itself. I don't know if this is the first in the series, but the first book I grabbed. This is Starlight, and it's by Olivia Wilders Wild Wildenson Wildenstein. And this is the edge. Really pretty. Okay, so 
it's stunning. Like, I, I love it. I love it already. And, of course, it is signed by Olivia. The inside dust jacket is feathers. Okay, so it says, Angelic fact number 100. Having wings doesn't make one noble. It simply makes one fly. Naya and Adam have nothing in common besides black wings, the same birthday, and fathers who are as close as brothers, but nothing else. Sweet, diligent Naya has always abided by the rules. Arrogant, uncivil Adam has made it his life's mission to break each one. She is the beloved daughter of an archangel. He is the Giles, he is the Giles residence bad boy. Well, bad fletching, fletching, flet, fletching. I don't know what that is yet. I haven't read this book. When, when Naya thrusts herself in Adam's life to request a place on his clandestine team of guardians, he turns her away. The last thing his unsanctioned squad needs is an archangel's attention, and the last thing he needs is a bubbly blonde distraction with a sinful voice and soulful eyes. Problem is, Naya suddenly and inexplicably becomes the only thing he wants. Okay, so we have Celestial and Feather. So for Celestial, it is, In 92 days, the feathered appendages that link me to the people I loathe finally come off. Dear winglets, you will not be missed. Celeste has spent the last four years building a life outside of angelic gills, parties, check, pursuing human ambitions instead of celestial ones, Ch college, check, and f shedding feathers across Parisian cobblestones and more recently, New York sidewalks, speaking her mind, always, check. She swore off angels, but the death of the woman who took her in the night, lay died, brings them soaring back into her life. And not just an angel, but the, more, but the most detestable one, the one complicit in Lay's death, Seraph Asher. Although Celeste tells the archangel to feather off, <laughs> the unreasonably pretty and obstinate man doesn't leave her alone. He returns and insists she completes her wing. She asks him for one good reason to do so. He gives her an unbeatable one. What he did with Lay's soul. Asher never meant to share his damning secret, but he knows it's the only way to save Celeste, the rebellious fletching he can't get out of his head or heart, a heart he longs to hear beat only for him. I don't know which one is book one or not. All right, and then we have Feather. Uh, it was supposed to be a quick mission. The only thing quick about it was how rapidly I fell. With only a month left to earn her missing feathers, 20-year-old Lay embarks on a trip to Paris to meet her newest project, 25-year-old Jared Adler, leader of the Parisian Mafia, and the worst kind of sinner, a triple. If Lay can get Jared to accomplish a single act of kindness, she stands to win 100 feathers, more than enough to complete her wings and ascend to... Elysium, the land of angels. What she doesn't count on is Jared's dark charm costing her feathers. She's dead set on saving him, and he's dead set on destroying her, until he realizes destroying her wings is also destroying her heart, a heart he longs to hear beat only for him. I, that one sounds good. This, the first, like, is this, let me see what order, this is book one. This one sounds really, really good. Like, I'm excited for this one. The other ones, I'm just like, I don't know these people and that's why because they're the book two and three okay so unfortunately I do not have a mystic box to unbox I believe that they're having a slight delay so it will be in my next unboxing but we're gonna move on to my next topic the next book box that I want to unbox is the hello lovely trope of the month box I am a rep for this company and I do have a uh, rep code if you use books in beauty 15 you can save 15% off of your order doesn't matter what you buy you can save 15% off of that, and that is really cool. They also have their Trope of the Month book, which means that each month you will be exploring a different trope in the romance genre. Uh, and their special editions are so beautiful. They're actually highly coveted as well, so it's really hard to get on their wish list. They do open it up, I think, on the second of every month, and that is when you should just subscribe and don't unsubscribe ever because it is hard to get back. Everyone is, like, patiently waiting for them to open it up, and... You won't get back on that list. Okay, so I have two of these to unbox. So let's just start with the first one. And this is book only, so I don't think that you get anything extra. So we get a art print here, which is really pretty. Uh, it says, it's a quote. So it says, this was supposed to be no strings attached, but somehow I've added strings. Strings that I fear are attached to my heart. 
That is so cute. I love that. And then the book is Fire by Tri... Oh, it's upside down. So the book is Trial by Fire, and it says, A Hotel Heiress, A Professional Hockey Player, No Strings Attached. And this is by M.E. Carter. And they always come in these, like, really pretty packages. But, like, look at this. Isn't it beautiful? That is, that is stunning. Chemistry This Explosion Won't Stay Hidden for Long. Holter heiress Preston Kane is fed up with men, with her job, with her life. From banging on the glass ceiling, to being catfish, to having to work with the world's most misogynistic boss. Her trust in the opposite sex is non-existent, and yet loneliness keeps creeping in. Professional goalie Nick Williams knows the limelight, comes with a job, but hates it all the same. People either want something from him or want to use him on their way on the on the way to the top. Dating just doesn't seem worth it no matter how nice it would be to be able to trust someone. Despite a tumultuous beginning, Preston and Nick discover a secret. No strings attached situation might be the perfect setup for both of them, as long as they can keep their feelings in check. It doesn't matter that the chemistry between them is hot enough to melt ice, right? Cute. And is it signed? Yes, it is signed by the author as well. I'm excited about reading this one because it sounds really good and really spicy. Okay, so we're on to our next Hello Lovely box. Okay, so this time it looks like we got some sprinkles in here. So it looks like we have some stickers in this one. So let's see. So we get a postcard that has like these pretty little things on it. We have a sticker that says a new book, a new day, a new page. It's really pretty. Then we have, okay, so we have a Hello Lovely uh, sticker here, it's there, and then, I th I'm, yeah, another sticker that says Hello Lovely. Okay, and the book here is Shameless by Lex Martin. It says, I promised, no expectations, no demand. Brady, what the hell do I know about raising a baby? Nothing. Not a, not a GD thing. Yet here I am, the sole guardian of my niece. I'd be lost if it wasn't for Catherine, the beautiful girl who seems to have all the answers. Catherine who slowly finds her way into my cynical heart. I keep reminding myself that I can't fall for someone when we don't have a future, but telling myself this lie and believing it are two different things. Catherine. When Brady shows up on a Harley looking like an avenging angel, six feet, three inches of chiseled muscles, eyes the color of wild sage, and sun-kissed skin emblazoned with tattoos, I'm not sure if I should fall at his feet or run like heck. Because if I tell him what happened the night his family died, he might hate me. What I don't count on are the nights we spend together trying to forget the heartache that brought us here. I promise him it won't mean anything that I won't fall in love. I shouldn't make promises that I can't keep. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this cover so much. And it's signed by Lexi and it says, L Love Shamelessly. Okay, so we're going to move on to a box that I actually just got today. This is from the Last Chapter Book Club or Bookshop. It is the Last Chapter Bookshop. And uh, this one was pretty pricey. There are subscriptions. I think they're pre-orders, so I don't think that... It sells out. I think you just order it by before they sell out. Oh, wow. It comes with a lot of goodies, you guys, on top. So first up, I'm seeing a sticker. It says The Last Chapter Bookshop. Seeing two bookmarks here. A thank you card. And then look at this. We have like a swag bag. First thing I'm seeing is annotation sticky notes thingies. Page flags. That's what it's called. We have some more bookmarks. This looks like we have three of them. We have a nameplate. Oh, we have nameplates to all the people that are in here. That This comes with a lot of books as well. So we have some more stickers here. I'm just going to show them one by one. So this is a quote from A Ruin of Roses. It says, one day you will see a crack in your cage and you will fly. And then, oh, these are like little quotes. Oh, that's so cute. This is from Phantom. It says, where happiness is just happiness and his darkness sings to me. It looks like a little picture frame. I love it. And then we have one from The Beast. It says, my good, good girl likes to watch what she does to me and likes to see all the seed I give her. I don't think I should have read that. 
anyways um this is this one and then we have one from neon gods okay this is this is the book that i got it for neon gods by katie roberts okay robert i can barely believe that she's mine that she's that she's made me hers as surely as if she tattooed her name on my very soul. Ah, I love it. One of my favorite books. And then, of course, we have the annotation uh, uh, tags. We have another sticker that says The Last Bookshop. This antique-looking bookmark. It's really pretty. The, oh, we have a bag, it looks like. And it says, dark and smutty. I love my retellings, dark and smutty. Cool. Oh, this is the retellings box. Okay, I do remember ordering this. Okay, so all of these books are retellings. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Ooh, okay. So I see some wax, melt, wax melts and it says, an dead oat of love. Antidote of love. Let's see how it's built. I actually do have a little uh, warmer to use now, so I actually can get these. Oh, it smells. Oh my god, it smells good. And it has like these little thingies on it. That is so. Oh, I, I love that smell. I don't know how to explain it, but it smells really good. The books are wrapped individually, so I don't know how many is in here, so I'm just going to keep pulling them out until they're gone. So the first book is A Ruin of Roses by K.F. Breen. I think this is a book that I wanted to read that I did not have. I could save him, but he would ruin me. The beast, the creature that stalks the forbidden wood, the dragon prince. He has suffered a fate worse than death we all have, a curse put upon us by the Mad King. We are a kingdom locked in time, shifters unable to feel our animals stuck here, by a deal between the late king and a demon who seek our destruction. The only one keeping this kingdom alive is Nefan, the golden prince to a stolen throne, the last dragon shifter. He's our hope, he's my nightmare. When he catches me trespassing in the forbidden wood, he doesn't punish me with death as he's entitled. He takes me instead, forces me back to the castle as his prisoner seeks to use me. Apparently I can save him. I can save the whole Forgotten Kingdom, locked away by the Demon King's power, but it would mean taming the monster beneath his skin. It would mean giving myself to him. It would mean my ruin. Oh, this is cool. And uh, that edition is so stunning. I think the original cover has a rose on it, and it's like a black cover with a rose. I actually like the original cover as well. I don't know which one I like the most. Next up, we have Phantom by Greer Rivers. Looks really cool and has like a mirror on it. This is really pretty. She is my muse and I am her demon of music. A year ago, I witnessed sweet Scarlet Day's dark side. She's been obsessed ever since. I was content with being her secret, content with protecting her from afar until an enemy from my past set his sights on her. Our family have a deep history of hatred and Scarlet is caught in the middle. Meanwhile, her her mind plays tricks on her. When a panic attack goes horribly wrong, I emerge from the shadows to save her. Now that she's mine, I can't let her go. But when my mask is gone, will she fear the monster underneath? What is this a retelling of? <gasps> Phantom of the Opera. Opera. Op opera. Op the play. We have a note from the author. It says, the Tattered Curtain series can be read in any order and is a series of complete standalones inspired by classic stories and stage productions. Phantom is a dark and spicy retelling of Gaston Leroux's Phantom of the Opera with mafia and stalking ele elements set in a modern day New Orleans, guaranteed happily ever after. Trigger content trope warning. Phantom is a dark romance. It should only be read by mature readers, 18 and plus. A lot of triggers can be found on the website okay so obviously suicide is in here because they have the like the suicide prevention line so oh and bipolar oh m manic okay so there's bipolar bipolar and manic rep in here there's also suicide trigger warnings as well so i'm excited to read it though because i don't even think i read the phantom of the opera i don't even think i've seen it so Ooh, we have a lot of books. How many books is this? 
Anyways, okay, so the next book is The Beast by Jenica Snow. So it says, what if the beast never turned into the prince? My father had just sold me off, bartered my body to erase his debt to the very devil himself. A beast of a man, literally. A creature, a creature whispered about amongst the villagers and feared by all. He was a beastly visage at, at three times the size of a man. His monstrously huge body covered in fur, sharp fangs, and eyes that held an unearthly red glow. He had paw-like hands tipped with claws and horns that arched back from his inhuman face. I was to live with him, to be his in every way, always, he saw fit. I was to be his wife, and so I offered myself up as the proverbial sacrifice to the very devil himself. I just didn't expect to enjoy being with a monster as much as I did. And we have one more book, and that is Neon Gods by Katie Roberts. This is the reason why I got this book, because I knew this baby was in there and I wanted it. All right, so it says, one taste is all you need. Look how beautiful this cover is. Oh my goodness. So this is it compared to the original cover. Oh my God. There's nothing to read on this one. Okay, well, I'll just tell you guys what it's about. It's a Hades and Persephone retelling. It's one of my favorite books, and I love it so much. It's actually a grumpy sunshine, but also, yeah, I think it's a grumpy sunshine kind of thing, too. So I really, I really love that. And the cover, ah, oh my gosh. Okay, super happy about this box. I am so happy. Thank you so much. Well, I bought it, so... Thank me. Thank me so much. <laughs> okay, I am super happy about that box. Like, it was very pricey, but I have no regrets. None at all. Next up, we have a box from Dark Heart Romance. I have already canceled this box, but you guys know, like, sometimes when you cancel, you still get one more box because it's weird. So, this is my final, final box from Dark Heart Romance. Let's see if I will regret canceling my subscription. Okay, so first thing I'm seeing is a notepad, and it looks like it's inspired by the uh, the anthology from the last box that I did, the Heartless Heroes. It came, the last box was the reason why I canceled it. It came with an anthology, a coloring book, uh, some, uh, some coloring pencils, the little tiny ones. And I, I just kind of felt like I was not fulfilled with that box at all. For the price, no. One eye mask for one singular use. And two books yeah two books um, okay so the first one is dark mafia prince and this is by Anika Martin um, okay Alexio grew up orphaned hunted because of my father now the sweet boy I knew is a dark prince gorgeous and brutal in his Armani suit he drags me into his hard glittering life he wraps my hair in his fists. I'll do anything to rescue his brothers. And I'm my father's only weakness. I'm the most dangerous enemy you'll ever have, he tells me. Because every time you look at me, you see somebody good. But I remember when Alexio was my childhood friend. I remember when they lowered his tiny casket into the ground. And how I cried when they lied to us and told us the prince was dead. Huh. Interesting and it is signed okay so that's that it's, it sounds interesting i'm excited um so the next one is mine to keep this is the kept as his series book one by sarah fields it's a pretty cover he's not a boss he's the boss i can still remember the moment i thought i can still remember the moment i first heard cyrus holt's deep commanding voice I didn't know who he was or about the life he'd left behind. I was just a trembling orphan on the run from a monster, and he was the man offering me shelter and not giving me a choice about it. This boss of bosses didn't assign someone else to watch over me. He slept on the floor next to my bed when I woke up scared, then spanked me like a naughty little girl when I lied to him. He could have claimed me that night, ravaging me without mercy or remorse, but he didn't. He made me beg for it first. But he didn't just want me as his for a night. He wanted me as his to keep. Hmm. It's okay. Um, and it's signed. So it's, it's signed on the back of the cover, which is interesting. <laughs> yeah, no regrets. No regrets at all for canceling this one. I feel like it's it just kind of the quality of the 
yeah, it, it went down. I don't know what happened, but yeah, I actually have already gotten a replacement book subscription box for it, which will be coming in January, I believe. So stay tuned for that, um, for that new box to be coming on my channel. Okay, so next up we have another new addition to the channel. This is an Australian book subscription company and it's called Fabled Crate. Now look at this box. It is one of the prettiest book boxes that I have ever gotten in my life. I absolutely love it. Now I subscribed to this box because I knew who, what book it was going to be and the author. Um, and it was stunning. They showed the book. It was stunning. This is book only so you don't get anything extra in it. I feel like it's affordable and the conversion rate for US dollars actually works out good in our favor but I'm, I don't know if I want to keep this one. So far I haven't. I resubscribed so it should be ongoing. I shouldn't skip any months. I think um, November's box is on this way. I think this is October. November box is on its way and I subscribed again so I should be getting December's box. If not, I reached out to customer service to get the December box. Um, and I actually will be getting both types of book subscription box. They have, they have two different boxes that they, they sell. They have like this money one and they have I think a paranormal one. I'm not sure but um, I'm getting both. So the next time you see this box, it should be two different books. All that to say, let's let's jump in. Let's see how it looks. I already know what this is. It's her latest, it's their latest book. As you can see. Oh, oh my gosh. So this is Court of the Vampire Queen by Katie Robert. I am beyond excited about this. I've already seen how it looked online and it looks good. You guys know what I like. I really like when they include the slipcase. I don't know what it is, but it feels even more fancy when they do that. So this is the slipcase. And this is the book. Oh my god. It is pure beautifulness. Look at that. Look at oh yes. I know. It's worth every penny. Look at the inside. Oh wow. And then and it's also signed by Katie Robert, by the way. So awesome sauce. I don't know what this book is about. So the back says one queen to rule them all. I, I, this is freaking incredibly stunning. Like, wow. Wow. Come on. This is probably the best book I've gotten. <laughs> Reader box. Um, this one is a really big one so I'm not sure what is in it so in my last video I said I was gonna cancel reader and it was because I felt like I wasn't really reading the books but I ended up resubscribing because my friend was like no I love those uh, reviews that you do so I kept it so you guys will continue to see this one on the channel so yeah so this one is the October box and it's cozy season hmm okay so first up I'm seeing that we got a blanket. Oh it has these little thingies all over it. I'm gonna try to pick them off. Got a blanket and it says cozy and booked reader. I love that. I like that she, she um, Ashley, she owns the company. I like that she puts in more like, like you know, like little personalized items. I think it's so cute. I like it. Sorry I almost unsubscribed Ashley. It's nothing personal <laughs> okay so this one says a reader packed with love it's a cup oh it has food in it oh it has those little biscuit cookies I get these on airplanes I, I love it I always ask for an extra one because <laughs> I really do love these so it comes with like what four of these wow and then you get a mug the mug says give me romance but make it black period reader love it love it oh and then we have Mimi Grace's newest book. This is called What a Match and it is beautiful. This is actually a book that I, I could see myself reading. She, I have another book by Mimi Grace but I, I don't, I don't remember what it's called right, right now. But let's see. Sometimes what you're looking for is right under your nose. 
Meticulous and driven, Gwen Gilmore knows what she wants, especially in a man, but the dating scene is slow and unserious and she realizes she may need some professional help. A matchmaker to be more specific. Nothing will distract her from finding the perfect on paper boyfriend, except maybe her brother's grumpy best friend. Anthony Woods has had a crush on his best friend's sister since the day he met her and he's managed the unfortunate affliction by keeping his distance. However, that that gets complicated when he temporarily moves into her home. As they connect and grow closer, will Gwen stick to the dating plan outlined by the professionals or admit when it comes to love, there's no right way to fall? That is cute. So it's not signed, but it's, it's really, really cool. Oh, content warning. This book contains a number of sexually explicit scenes. How dare they? I was not expecting that in a romance book box. Hello? <laughs> okay, so that was everything that came in my reader box. I'm actually really excited for this one. First of all, as soon as I cut off this camera, I'm eating those biscotti cookies for sure. I can't wait to read that book and curl up under this blanket. So this one actually makes me regret canceling it. So you know how when I said dark heart romance, you know, am I going to regret it? no but for reader yes i would have definitely regretted canceling this box if i would have gotten this after canceling <laughs> okay so next up we have one more uh new box to us which is cover to cover box this is another box that i think you can pick paperback versus hardcover it's very pricey again so i probably won't do this every single month um but i just wanted to try it out and i think for this one i'm going to only get the ones that i know the authors and I know that I'm going to want their books you know with this one I did get an add-on um, with the purchase of the subscription um, so this is praise by Sarah Kate and I got it in hardcover uh, this was a previous book that they had um, in an earlier box and I I wanted it I was looking for it, but I could not find it so I just went to the source and I saw that they had it again so ordered it okay so this is the book I just love how sleek it looks like it's so freaking beautiful and then it's like black ah! so this is part of the salacious players club this is book one he calls me perfect his flawless pet his good girl broken down and wounded by my emotionally neglectful ex i wanted someone to tell me i was good enough then i stumbled into a new job with a boss who brings me to my knees literally he has me do things a real secretary would never do emerson grant tells me i'm more than just good enough I'm worthy of his praise. There are a million reasons why I should stay away. The owner of the Salacious Players Club is not just my new boss. He's twice my age and my ex-boyfriend's father. Oh, there are so many tropes there. Like, wow. With him, I am treasured. I am adored. I am his. I'm a good girl, but I'm falling for the wrong man. Emerson Grant knows what he wants and he wants me. So how far will I go to hear his approval? That is salacious. I can't wait to read this too. So it's going to be a boyfriend's dad, I mean ex-boyfriend's dad, uh, boss romance, and age gap. So, wow, I can't wait. That sounds so good. Okay, so we're gonna get into the, the box. So this is the November box. So first up we have some goodies here. Let's see what's in this. Oh. Okay, so we have some bookmarks. Oh, this is cute. It says, you're the one thing I can't get enough of. And then we have, oh, so this looks like it's inspired by Dirty Dancing. It says, oh, and this one says lover. And this one says boy. And then uh, it's, we have this. I don't know what this is, so I'm just gonna. It looks like a library card. I don't know what the significance is for it. So I selected the hardcover options. Um, so this is Opian Skies by C. M. Radcliffe. It says we were designed for destruction. Life is full of variables. We crave control, but in reality, we have very little. Hatley left home with a plan to get the full college experience. After losing her mother, she lost a part of herself, and she doesn't have room for attachments. Scarred from her past, Hatley just wants her life to be normal. She wants to have fun and forget the past that she's leaving behind. But life doesn't go as planned, and when she meets Ander, everything changes. 
Ander lives his life going from one high to the next. He's a bad boy with haunting blue eyes and a history of making terrible decisions. He was never part of her plan, but neither of them can deny what is happening between them. What starts off as fun begins to develop into something much darker and toxic. Their love is explosive, but Ander is an addict who is quickly spiraling out of control and nothing will stop him from taking her down with him. Ander is the one variable in her life that she will never control and they are destined for destruction. So it is signed as well. This actually sounds really, really good. So it's part of a series. It's called In Vain Series and this is book one. Okay, so the next book is one of the reasons why um, one of two, like two of these books are books that I really, really wanted and that's the reason why I got this box. So this one is Twisted Love, Twisted Lies by Anna Huang. Look at this cover. Like as soon as I saw that, I was like, absolutely yes. Absolutely yes. Okay, so I, I know that this, I don't think this is the first book in the series, but it might be, let's see. No, this is book four in the series and it is signed by Anna Huang. Uh, so let's see. He'll do anything to have her, including lie. Charming, deadly, and smart enough to hide it, Christian Harper is a monster dressed in the perfectly tailored suit of a gentleman. He has little use for morals and even less use for love, but he can't deny the strange pull he feels towards the woman living just one floor below him. She's the object of his darkest desire, the only puzzle he can't solve, and when the opportunity to get closer to her arises, he breaks his own rules to offer her a deal she can't refuse. Every monster has their weakness. She's his, his obsession, his addiction, his only exception. Sweet, shy, and introverted despite her social media fame, Stella Alonzo is a romantic who keeps her heart in a cage. Between her two jobs, she has little time or desire for a relationship, but when a threat from her past drives her into the arms and house of the most dangerous man she's ever met, she's tempted to let herself feel something for the first time in a long time. Because despite Christian's cold nature, he makes her feel everything when she's with him. Passionate, protected, truly wanted. Theirs is a love twisted with secrets and tainted, tainted, tainted by lies. And when the truths are finally revealed, they could shatter everything. Oh my gosh. This sounds really, really good to everyone whose favorite color is morally gray. Okay. Content notes. This story contains a morally gray alpha hero, explicit sexual content, profanity, graphic violence, and topics that may be sensitive to some readers. I'm already sold. Okay. I absolutely adore this book. This is so beautiful. And on the back, there's like little like tiny dots that you can feel when you rub, like, oh my gosh. The attention to detail for this one is perfect. And we have one more, we have one more book. <laughs> this one is Throttled by Lauren Asher. This is part of their uh, Dirty Air series. I think they wrote the fine print and that's what I, w I was expecting to get in here when I saw the name. But I'm not mad at it because I think this is book one. Oh, we have an art print. Uh, it says, we're a ticking time bomb about one wrong move away from exploding. Oh, this is cute. Did you guys see that? Ooh. Okay. And it's also signed. Okay. What happens when my brother's rival become my secret crush? Noah Slade is a Formula One legend in the making. Focus unapproachable ruthless on and off the track a man with walls higher than the grand canyon and my brother's new teammate i want more of the prince who disguises himself at the, as the villain but while i crave a happy ending he wants to destroy his maya elatori is a forbidden temptation an ambitious postgrad i should stay away from chaos wrapped with a bow we're a ticking time bomb about one wrong move away from exploding i want to trip the wire detonating together in passion and pain because in the end all's fair in lust and war okay i'm excited about this one okay not her having a playlist in the first song is god's plan by drake normally when i see playlists in the romance arthurs i never recognize any of the songs and if i do it's like something from like the early 2000s like it's never like something like recent or something i listen to but it's cool. Okay, we're on to our very last box set. Uh, this is the Bookworm box. I have two of them. So let's get started with the first box. 
So first up, we have like a little baggie with some goodies in it. Hmm. Okay, so this is odd. So it says, plant seeded wildflower shape, add water and sun and watch me grow. So she literally gave us a plant and it says Lily Bloom. And I know which box this is and I'm super excited to show you guys because y'all are going to be mad. Okay, we have a bookmark. We have another bookmark and then we have uh, her like listing ch her charity. This is uh, Colleen Hoover's uh book subscription box and it is a charity base box so i do feel like i'm giving back with this you know we also got a candle uh, and it says it ends with us by lily uh it ends with us lily bloom oh my god that smells so good and it's pretty what this is probably one of the best smelling candles that i've had thus far okay let's get to the books because i am going to keep these books until I die until I literally you hear the beep and I still might come back and keep these books okay first up we have it ends with us by Colleen Hoover and then we have it starts with us by Colleen Hoover this is why I subscribe to this box because Colleen likes to sneak in limited editions of her books and I'm here for it I'm here for it. my little sneaky tip though if you don't want to be subscribed to her box like the entire year I would try to try to subscribe like the month before you know she has a new book coming out because it this was like the same month I think as this book come out like it starts with us or at least like it was around the time so if you can just subscribe to the box around the time then you know like you're gonna get something from the book um okay so if you guys don't know what these books are I've read both of these and I've gave, given both of them five stars. These books are deep in my heart. I love them and I will fight with my last breath to have these books. I don't, if someone comes and they're like, give me all your books, I will fight them for these books. Like, I am not joking. I will fight them. Okay, so let's start with the first book, It Ends With Us. Sometimes it is the one who loves you who hurts you the most. Lily hasn't always had it easy, but that's never stopped her from working hard for the life she ha she wants. She comes a long way from the small town of Maine where she grew up. She graduated from college, moved to Boston, and started her own business. So when she fills a spark with a gorgeous neuro neurosurgeon named Ryle Kincaid, everything in Lily's life suddenly seems almost too good to be true. Ryle, Ryle is assertive, stubborn, maybe even a little arrogant. He also he's also sensitive, brilliant, and has a total soft spot for Lily. And the way he looks in scrubs certainly doesn't hurt. Lily can't get him out of her head, but Ryle's complete aversion to relationships is disturbing. Even as Lily finds herself becoming the exception to his no dating rule, she can't help but wonder what made him that way in the first place. As questions about her new relationship overwhelm her, so do thoughts of Atlas Corrigan, her first love and the link to the past she left behind. He was her kindred spirit, her protector. When Atlas suddenly reappears, everything Lily has built with Ryle is threatened. <sighs> okay. I would say my favorite one is it starts with us which is like a little bit different because most people say that this is their favorite i still think this is five stars i still cried and got attached and all of that but this one i actually went to boston to visit one of my friends and like i'm literally bawling on the on the on the on the plane like i'm crying because they're writing letters to each other and i'm like oh <gasps> the the ending the last thing that was written i'm not gonna say what it is because it's a spoiler but the last written thing that they're writing oh my gosh p.s it is my wish for you to be my fish i that was the very last line i laughed so loud on that plane i was so embarrassed i was just like sorry it's it's colleen hoover i, I can't i can't do it <laughs> yeah so this is it starts with us this is her like the latest one that came out Okay, so it says, Lily and her ex-boyfriend, Rao, have just settled into a civil co-parenting rhythm when she suddenly bumps into her first love, Atlas, again. After nearly two years separated, she is elated that for once, time is on their side and she immediately says yes when Atlas asks her on a date. But her excitement is quickly hampered by the knowledge that, though they are no longer married, Ryle is still very much a part of her life 
and Atlas Corrigan is the one man he will hate being in his ex-wife and daughter's life. Switching between the perspective of Lily and Atlas, It Starts With Us picks up right where the epilogue for the gripping, pulse-pounding, best-selling phenomenon It Ends With Us left off, revealing more about Atlas's past and following Lily as she embraces a second chance at true love while nav navigating a jealous ex-husband. It proves that no one delivers an emotional read like Colleen Hoover. It does. It's so good. I... I'm in love with this book. Like if I can get all of the special editions of this book, I would because I could see myself rereading it and I am not typically a person who rereads a book, but for this one, I would. Okay, we're on to our very last book in this video. <laughs> Have another bag filled with goodies. Oh, we got a sock. She gave us a sock. This is the December box, I think. No, this is the November box. Okay, so we have a box of purple socks. A box of socks. Anyways, we have a sock and it says my weekend is all booked. It's cute. I can see myself wearing this. Like you can't get mad at a sock. And then we have some bookmarks. I feel like these are mostly like promotional. Oh, it, oh, this is cute. I actually like this. So it looks like a little library card, but it's a, uh, um, a post-it note you get the charity card it says cozy up and read hey in the books for this month i'm a little mad about um so the first one is before and after you by hope ellis so it says lay d'alessio is a fighter she fought to escape her dysfunctional family to end a soul-killing marriage and to build a new life in a small tennessee town when the fate of the community hospital she works for is threatened she's primed and ready for the battle what she can't fight any longer is her unshakable attraction to her best friend's brother, who has a notorious reputation and triggers all her worst fears about trust and betrayal. Walker Leffersby is a lover. At least that's what the rep at least that's the reputation he's built in his hometown. Scion of a prosperous Tennessee banking family, he is a known ladies' man and a confirmed bachelor. His hands are full as he juggles com competing demands from his family's bank and his growing property renovation business. The last thing he needs is to give in to his long-standing craving for his sister's headstrong and hot-tempered best friend, especially because she's the only one who knows the secret that threatened to upend his life. When a home renovation project brings them too close for comfort, they both struggle to withstand the growing heat. As they grow closer, helping each other navigate family minefields, Walker learns that love is not a four-letter word and Lay and Lay realizes that some battles are meant to be lost. But Walker's secret is the one thing that could keep them apart unless they both decide to fight for the love they never looked for but now can't live without okay yeah and finally we have for love or honey by stacy hart the bloom bees series book one when the devil comes to town you have to meet him head on which is exactly what i did when grant stone rolled into our small texas town driving a sports car i could fit in the bed of my truck Wearing a suit as black as his soul, <laughs> he's here to acquire mineral rights to half a dozen forms in town, and there's no way he's getting mine. Showing him the small town ropes is the quickest way to enjoy him make a fool of himself and keep my enemy nice and close. Grant might have an angle, but that's fine by me. I've got one of my own. The more I'm near him, the harder it is to ignore the heat in his gaze. Every touch is the strike of a match. Every word we exchange is charged with more than I want to admit. And one kiss washes the line between us away. The problem with meeting the devil head on, my heart is left wide open. I only hope he doesn't break it. Hmm. For love or honey. Okay. Ah, we are finally done. That is all of the books that I have for you guys in this romance battle of the book subscription box. Let me know what was your favorite item or your favorite book. And if you are subscribed to any of these, or if you're considering subscribing to any of these boxes, if you like things like this, I do these all the time. So click the like button and feel free to subscribe. But until next time, I will see you guys in another video. Bye.